Hello, RBN TV fans. Welcome to the Midday Show. And maybe right about now you're taking a break in your day and you're doing some exercise. Hopefully you're doing some exercise. This is going to be a great show because I have a fabulous guest here who I've got the chance to know a little bit before the show. And I really, really like this person already. His name is Abdon Placid, and he is the inventor of the V-Dips Power Station. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Krista. Yeah, so I'm excited. This thing is not even for sale yet, right? No, it's not for sale yet, but it's about to be by December. Okay. Right, and, the first and, units will be coming in. Okay, and we're going to get into, you know, how this whole thing works and all that, but what I want to do, I actually have another show where I interview entrepreneurs, and I love hearing the stories of how an idea becomes an actual object like this. Mm -hmm. So how long ago was it that you had the idea of V-Dips and a, a power station? How did it come about? Okay, uh, well, it started, the whole, the whole process started four years ago. But the idea had been in my mind for m many years before that. Uh, it actually started by uh, when I would be on the, on the park or just running around the neighborhood jogging, and then I would want to do some dips because I love doing calisthenics, which is dips and pull-ups and push-ups. So I would find a 90-degree angle like a banister on, on, on a gate and I would start doing the dips there. And I didn't know I was creating something in my mind, mm -hmm. which was how great the doing V dips were, which is what I ended up calling them. And then years later, by doing it a lot, I, I, when, I start, when I would go to the regular form of doing dips, which is the parallel, it didn't excite me or, or give me the same, the same workout like the, like the banister dips would do, that I would be doing in the park or just in the neighborhood. Yeah. So, I actually began to fall in love with just doing those kind of dips. So even after a workout, I would never go to the, with like, you know, they have, they have the calisthenics in the park. Yes. I wouldn't do the regular, the regular dips that in the yeah. park. Yeah. I would go to the fence and find the corner and do my dips there. So that's where the concept actually uh, derived from. Can I ask you a question? When you did it, did you feel like uh, it was more comfortable or did you feel like it was working me more? It worked me more, you know, okay. because you can go in and get a p more powerful yeah. chest workout. You can go as wide, wider out and work your lats and your back. I mean, it was just an amazing way of doing dips and you got more more exercise out of doing it, doing it the V, the v shape way than doing it the parallel. Okay. So one day I was actually doing it on my banister and every time I would do them, I got to a point where I would keep, I would just get excited when I was doing those dips. And one day my wife, I guess she heard me say it one time too many. You know, I was like, baby, I love doing dips like this. And she was like, well, why don't you just go ahead and create that product then? And lo and behold, that's how it all began. Now, had you been the creator of other products before? Actually, this is my very first. So okay. I, am, I am very happy and feel blessed as a man to have my first in the universe, uh -huh. which is the V-Dip Power Station. Okay, so from the time four years ago when your wife said, okay, you said, oh, we're going to do this, what has the journey been like for you? The journey has been scary, you know, uh, 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 and, and also very amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, to begin with, once, once, I, once, once I made up my mind to do it, right, it took a lot of courage just to get to that point of going from in my head to actually write, to drawing it on a piece of paper. Once I drew it, then the process began. Yeah. You know, it left my brain, it left my thoughts, and became something real. But it still took a lot of courage to actually go about doing it. So I started asking questions like, how do you go about getting something made? So I learned that you have to have a prototype made first, and then from there, it, the process begins. So the first thing I did was I created a company, right? I called it the Abdon's V Dip LLC, right? So after I did that, then I started vetting. I started looking and vetting out uh, product design uh, uh, companies. Yeah. So I actually did. I went to three of them, and uh, each one of them had told me that the idea was that the product was going to cost forty thousand to make a prototype. And I'm telling you, it scared the living heck out of me. Yeah. Because here I was thinking it was only going to cost about 5000 which I thought was a lot of money, yeah. you know? I had no idea that it was going to cost 40000 to make a prototype of my invention, my vision. Yeah. So after, 
after a few a few product designers told me that I stumbled on one guy named Avi Avi Cohen and uh, I guess it was just his spirit he had a little company and I loved the way he had talked and he didn't tell me it was going to cost 40,000 he said it's gonna cost like half of that like almost like 25,000 and he would set up a payment plan for me okay. and so it began you know okay. the non-disclosure uh, form was signed and we went through a number of uh, a number of drawings before we landed on this particular design for the VDIP power station. But at the end of the day, it still ended up costing me forty thousand. So me. they were right. So they were all right. <laughs> but, <laughs> it was all right. But, you know, it's interesting that you wanted to do business with that that person, right? Because he seemed to be more sincere. You connected with him in a certain yes, way. Yes, yes. In fact, uh, that has been the central theme in my journey that I have realized in my walk that God has always like like the spirit has always been been in you know dr like drawing me in, on that path yeah. the people I have met I've, I've always uh, 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 gravitated to the integrity yeah. you know something about them just that about the integrity just drawed me in of course I have been duped a number of times and, and I suffered you know yeah. you know some people have taken advantage of me and I've I've lost almost forty thousand dollars trusting the wrong the wrong people, but even even in the midst of that, that wrong turned into something right. Yes, you know. So I was able to look at the good that came out of it, as opposed to dwelling on the financial loss that, that I that I went the, through. That's the true like building of a uh, baking of an entrepreneur is not quitting. And I'm sure when you go in the gym. You don't quit after, you know, the, the six of you not. go the extra rep or Absolutely. the extra round, and that's really what you need to do when Absolutely. you're trying to get something like this out Absolutely. here. Absolutely. So um, we have to go to a commercial break, but I want to get back to, when we come back, I want to get back to sort of what happened after you did that prototype, because I, I know you went to China and you've done some things like right. that. And we're also going to, in our second segment, so make sure you stay tuned, we're going to have someone in here named Sam, and she's going to actually demonstrate how to use the VDIP power station. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the Midday Show. We're here with Abdon Placid. He is the inventor of this wonderful machine right here called the V-Dips Power Station. And we just, we didn't even have enough time in the first segment to talk about how you sort of made this happen, but we were in the stages where you had developed a prototype, which cost you a nice chunk of change. Yes. So you have this prototype, what's next? You have to get a patent? Yes, after, after, we, after we settled on the design of the, of the, of the, of the, of the machine, the, the VDIP power station, then we, uh, we sent it out to, uh, to a, a New York a patent attorney. Right, it cost it cost about three thousand dollars, and that's when you reach the stage with the, which they call patent pending stage. Okay. So that took about a couple of years before uh, the government actually gave us gave us a utility patent on the product, which was an exciting moment yes. when, once it happened to oh, receive I can a patent. Imagine. Yes, yes. So you have a patent, then what do you do? You well, have I, the after I got the patent and I knew I was secured that no one could steal my concept in the United States in particular, yes. then I started looking for, for, for ways to manufacture it, you know? Mm -hmm. So then I, uh, I, started, I, I started networking, you know, and I found some people that were in the marketing field. I thought they might be the ones to assist me in, in, in getting to that stage. And they did help me to, to, to find someone in China, because China, I did investigate the uh, United States, but the cost of steel was so expensive here, okay. I couldn't produce it here, and actually it would be feasible yes. for me. So I then, ch and I checked Canada, I checked, eight, I checked uh, South America, and China ended up being the most feasible place to, to manufacture the product. Yes. So I eventually found someone in China, a guy by the name of Micah, he's on TED, Micah Dorch, and he speaks like, well, he speaks a language a third, uh, fluently, and he also speaks seven dialects. So he turned out to be another blessing yes. on that journey. Yeah. So uh, one day I just, instead of having all these conversations on, on the phone, I just made up my mind that I was going to go to China, you know, and start and, and see what's going on for myself. Uh -huh. So eventually I bought that ticket and traveled that 13 hour excruciating economy yeah. <laughs> coach flight yes. to China yeah. and I hit the ground running. I was there for like seven days and every day was going to different different manufacturing plant looking for the right connect, the right feel. 
And in China, you can find people that can make something for almost nothing. Yeah. You know, it's almost like a back alley type of plant. Yeah. And then, then you can find other, other companies that have robotic systems, state of the art, and all of that, but they're going to be much more expensive. Yeah. So I settled for the ones that were more expensive and, and, and had all, this, all the robotic systems to, to do what I needed to get done. So I ended up paying a little heftier price to yeah. get the product made, but it's something that was necessary because I don't want anyone to get hurt no. when they're doing the VD power station. And that goes back to the integrity, you know, not exactly. just of the machine, but of you as Absolutely. the creator of the machine. So um, people, people will buy, as I always say this, people will buy from you, you know? <laughs> and Absolutely. you seem like a really good person. So let's get into how this works. Okay, so great. we have the beautiful, lovely Sam. Hey, hey. Hey, okay, Sam. And she may not look like a bodybuilder, but she right. is strong, <laughs> right. right? She's very yes, strong. She is. So we're just going to go through, I think, two exercises yes, right now. Yes. Okay, so why we're going to do. She, she's going. She's going to do the classic V dip, right? Well, it's, well, it's classic dip, but she's going to do it using a V dip station, and then she'll do something we call the leg lift pull up, which is another, which is an extraneous way of doing pull ups, but it works the abdominal section as well as just giving you all the benefits of doing a pull up. Okay, right. and, and we'll give her a rest in between and talk a little bit. Indeed. So, okay. so give us like two or three dips. Go ahead, Hi, Sam. So she lifts. Yep. Comes down. One. Two. One more. Come on. Ah, right. excellent. Woo! And there <laughs> she right, goes. She's getting excited. Oh, look, she's at doing four. Yes, indeed. So, so she's working what parts? But the, now she's working her pecs. She's working her chest. Actually doing dips creates all type of uh, 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 excess, all type of workouts on, the, on your upper body. Mm -hmm. It works, it's like a total upper body workout. Yes. You know, so it's catching your arms, your back, your chest, everything. But you said that when you did it with this sort of V-shape, you just felt it a little more in all those areas, Much right? more intense. Yeah, Absolutely. and would you agree with that too? 100%, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> Sam's done them both ways, and this one's a little more challenging. Which, yes. Hey, you want, fine, you might want to go bust out 100 dips on another thing, but what you want to do is you want to maximize your time. I mean, I know when I go to the gym, I don't have time to do maybe, you know, three rounds of, well said, of 20. Crystal. Absolutely. But if you can bust this thing out, you know, you're going to be uh, maximizing your time Absolutely. When you're at the gym. And you will feel it. Yeah. And you're done doing beat dips, you can't help but feel it. You Everywhere. Know? So you want, you want to do the leg lift pull-up so we can yeah, show Yeah, we're going to do another one. This one is, I know, so yeah. hard. Right. This is extraneous, but you can, you, can, you, you, you can grow into it. As the more you do it, you'll get better with it. Yeah. And it builds, uh, it builds your abdominals. Uh, you work on your abdominal as well as your back, your arms, your Watch leg, this. everything. Watch this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. She's pretty strong. Her stomach. She's pretty strong. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at the bicep. Excellent. Woo! Good and job. I just want to show that women women can use the V-Dip Power Station. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not something that are just made for men. This is not a masculine home fitness unit. This is a, a total body fitness unit that men and women can use in the privacy of their own home or the apartment. And it's not very clunky. I mean, it's not big and huge. And I mean, we, we brought this up here and it was together in Absolutely. 30 seconds. Absolutely. Yes, it's very, it's very uh, compact. You, it, it breaks down with just three prong systems, and, yes. it, and, it, and, and you break it down, you put it up the same way, and you can put it away, and, 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 you're, and you're good to go. So it doesn't have to turn into a, 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 a hanger closet in your house if you don't want it to. You know, right. after you finish workout, you can just put it right away. Right. And this is a machine where you're using your own body weight, which yes. I know from personal experience. I used to go to the gym, and I would, you know, go on the treadmill, do my thing, or... But when you start to incorporate this type of exercise, your body changes. Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> dramatically. And the thing about body weight training, as opposed, not not knocking anyone that does weightlifting, right, right. but body weight training lasts longer. It builds your body from the inside out. Mm -hmm. So if you're a person, I mean, that that starts working out in your 20s and your 30s doing doing a body weight training, it's almost like you're, you're putting an investment into your future as you get older. Yes. The same way you'll be working towards retirement, exercising with body weight training is like putting that, it's like putting something in the bank for yes. when you retire, when you're in your 60s, your body will look like you're still in your 40s. Mm -hmm. okay. And for those of us in our 40s and 50s, training now gets, will add more longevity to your, to your life. 
Absolutely. That's how I feel about body weight training. It's true. I mean, it's science. It's a fact. Absolutely. You don't need to go buy, you know, all of these things like, you know, the mat, the weights, the bands, the, all those other things. You don't need to go out and purchase those if you can have one thing that, that does. has it all. Absolutely. Now, you showed us two things. But this has some accessories. These right, I'm really excited about that. Me. Right, yes. Yeah, so yes. there's more stuff you can do with this, but we will be back to show you all of those things, so stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to the Midday Show on RVN TV. It is workout time. I'm here with <laughs> Abdon Placid. He is the creator, the inventor of the VDIPS Power Station. And so before we went on break, we did, you know, it looked different, right? So right. Uh, literally in a matter of a minute, you switched this thing, you put the bench on, you snapped it right on, you attached some, quickly attached some resistance bands, and now we've got what looks like a whole new piece of in, indeed so. The, the VDIP power station is a multifaceted unit. Mm -hmm. So, in, like, and again, we get towards strictly body weight training and non-weight use, even though you can use dumbbells with the bench. And a lot of people, they have a bench in their house, they have a, they have a pull up in their house, different, different machines. With the VDIP power station, it comes with everything, you know? Mm -hmm. So Sam is going to demonstrate some resistant bands training with it. So we get these lovely, I just want to flip, so we get these things here that, oh, that can be, um, we actually double them up to make them more resistance, right? Exactly. Or you can make them higher, do some standing things with them as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. All right, and we so. will be, we will be, we will be uh, selling those as well, the resistant bands. Okay. And as a deluxe, a deluxe package comes with our, with uh, like a 50 pound resistant bands. Okay, so Sam's gonna do, what's this called? This is called a, a standard bench press. So okay. instead of using dumbbells or using or using weights, you can use resistant bands, yeah. you know, which builds the, the, the inner body a lot more stronger. It's a tense, it's a tense workout and it's body weight training at its best. I believe also just from personally doing both, this feels a little safer to me than holding up and the form, I think you can keep the form Good better point. when you're Good using point. the band. Absolutely. And I always have, I sometimes have an issue, right, when I'm doing the, that lift and I come down and then I have to drop the weight down to the ground. Absolutely, you know, like, absolutely. I, have to, I always right. hit my water or whatever, but so you don't have those clunky weights. Oh right. no, she's doing one hand. Excellent. Awesome. Sam is pretty good. And as, actually, is. as a woman, I mean, I can get on there and show how a man <laughs> do it, right? Because I have something called a man band, you know. But I just yeah. wanted to, I just wanted to give a, 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 a just a brief, a, a, a look at what you can do with the with with the beat the power station. Yes. So you can also do curls. So these are for. These are for, this is this is for your biceps, biceps exactly, you know, and you can also do uh, leg leg lift raises. You know, it comes with a strap that you can you know, stand the unit up. And then you can start doing like leg lifts, you know, so you can oh. you can build up your thighs, your inner thighs, your outer thighs. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you can also do shoulder weight with uh with the bands. And you yourself would begin to create different different exercises with the V yes. the power station, mm -hmm. which is one of the beauty of having such a home equipment in in your home. Yes. You know, and it will be something we will be excited to see. So I'm hoping that people will, people who, who who get engaged with the V dip will begin to start sending out, sending us shots of new things that they have done with the Beat Their Power Station. But they can't do that yet because this thing is not for sale, right? Not yet, not okay, yet. Okay, so how are right. you marketing this? You have this sort of campaign that's coming up yes, soon. Yes, what, aware of that. yes, what we're doing right now is we're launching uh, a, crowd, a crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo mm -hmm. to just to raise more funds to help with, to help the, with the manufacturing uh, stage, mm -hmm. as well as to get the public more aware and engaged in the VDIP power station. So that campaign will be launched sometime in November, so look for it, like on the third week of November. How can we find it? You can find it by going to vdips.com. Okay. And that way, you, and everything will be there, videos, the link to the our campaign, everything. Okay, okay, cool, so I'm thinking about like, gym owners and things like that that might want to get this well, not not, gym. not the traditional gym owners, but the but the extreme gym uh, mm -hmm. uh, trainers. You know, I think this falls right into w w extreme workout like crossfitting and 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 pulling yeah. pulling the tires. I think people who own gyms like that and want to and want to and want to mix it up will find the VDIP power station uh, a, a, a powerful uh, uh, addition to 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 the arsenal. Yeah. Look at this new one she's doing here now. I know what those are. Yeah, yes. it's just a different form, but rather than putting your... Exactly, exactly. 
Awesome. So what are other ways that you're marketing this? Are you with social media? I'm on social media. I am. I, I, I have. I have a couple of influencers that are that are posting it for me. Uh, I, I do have my website, I, and I have done some offline offline uh, 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 events. Mm -hmm. But this is the this is the next stage that I'm on right now. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's just beginning. You know, I'll be in China next month. You know, uh, uh, looking at every single unit, I'll be, I have to do the final inspection before they actually get shipped to the United States. So, you know, we're beginning, we're here now. How many do you start off making? Do you just pick a random and say, make me a thousand? No, no, not, not at all, not at all. It's, it, well, it's costing me over a hundred thousand, but I'm producing like about a, like about a thousand units, okay. you know, with the bands and everything. So I have to. So once the I picked a I picked a very reputable manufacturer in China to, to to get the units made, but still I have to go and personally inspect each one for myself before it actually leaves the country, you know, and and bring it on board to to to, to the United States. Uh, I I also would like to shout out uh, my marketing team, yeah. which is Creative Click. I mean, those guys again were were people that I was blessed to blessed to meet. They have a lot of integrity, and they have actually been with me for for over a year now. And I'm so grateful, you know, to the, to to them for where they where they have taken me thus far. It matters. It I mean, matters. You need absolutely. A good marketing company, Creative Click. Media. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Okay, so do you have any idea when? this thing is going to be available to be purchased? It will be available to purchase online in December. Okay. So you can have oh, this, this, year. this year. This year, this year, 2017. <laughs> yes, you know, so be looking for it probably be, probably by Christmas. If not, it won't be but a few days after Christmas. But initially it will be online. You'll, you'll be able to find it on my website. Okay, yes. vdips.com. Yes. Okay, that's vdips.com. V, yeah, v, v -D -I -P -S com. But I would encourage everyone to, to join the campaign, to yes. back the campaign, because that way you can pre-order it oh, okay. and, and, and be the first be, be the first to have the VD Power Station in your neighborhood, in your community. Okay, now I'm going to venture to guess a, a price point. All right, so if I add up the things in my basement, <laughs> right. is it... Somewhere from like six hundred to a thousand. Oh no, nothing, nowhere near there. What? Yeah, even the pre-order is like three hundred dollars. You know, and that's for everything. That's the bench, the resistant bands, everything. That's why I would encourage people to, to to follow the campaign and be one on the first day that the campaign launches. Be right there and pre-order your unit at three hundred dollars. What a great gift for the holidays. Indeed, too. so. And you know, I'm going to talk to the bombs out there. Right, we join these gyms. Yeah, and nothing wrong with gyms. We get there, but we don't get there as often as we would like. So to have something like this in the basement when the kids go to bed or whatever, to give yourself a half hour on this machine, Absolutely. to have it in your home, I mean, the gym memberships, you know, probably more, you know, more than this entire machine. Absolutely. Absolutely. And something else we're creating in addition to that, I mean, we do work out at the house and we love it. But, and I know there are times when people do get a little distracted at the house, so we created the V-Dip uh, 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 Power Movement as, as a forum so people can stay engaged with each other and help each other to be motivated. Like, hey, like Johnny did 10 dips today, and he may get on, he may get on there and, and encourage Charles to yeah. do 10 dips, you know? So that's also a, a, a part of the movement that we're trying to bring to the public to be more engaged in the VDIP power station as a home fitness unit. I don't think uh, a lot of people are involved in that that don't know that even in the house, you can become discouraged because you're there by yourself. Yes. So with the VDIP yes. power station, we have also created a VDIP power movement okay. to keep you engaged in doing and training with the units because we know that this is a, a, a lifelong uh, a, a event in yeah. your life. Yeah. So it's the VDIPS community. The VDIPS community. There, we exactly. just named it. We just named yep. it. <laughs> well, you seem just a little passionate about what you're doing, and I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Sam, for demonstrating all of the techniques. And thank, thank you, you so for much having for me. coming on. Yes. And make sure you check out VDIPS.com, a great holiday gift or just something to purchase for yourself because you deserve good health and strength in your life. We'll, be, right, we'll be back with more midday.